You want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most ridiculous music videos of the 1990s. What's gonna be For this list, we're looking at the goofiest, corniest, and wackiest music videos released in the 1990s. We're not saying these music videos are bad, they're just unique. <laughs> anyway, be sure to let us know in the comments if you have any nostalgia for any of these glorious music videos. All right, let's get into it. Number 20, Give It Away, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Give It Away proved to be the Red Hot Chili Peppers' first major hit, reaching number one on the Billboard Modern Rock Tracks chart. The concept of the bizarre music video stemmed from singer Anthony Kiedis, who wished to make a visually unique video that would stand apart from its contemporaries. A French fashion photographer named Stéphane Sednaoui was brought in, and he decided to paint the band members in a silver acrylic paint and shoot the video in black and white. The video also contains a wide array of different cinematic techniques, including superimposition and reversed footage. <laughs> Warner Brothers hated it and wished for a more traditional music video. Regardless, it was a huge success and helped catapult the Peppers to stardom. Number 19, You Can't Touch This, MC Hammer. You Can't Touch This is one of the shining accomplishments of the 90s. The winner and the winner, the winner is, the winner is MC, MC Hammer. It was the first rap song to get a Record of the Year nomination at the Grammys, and its music video is an undeniable icon of pop culture. You can't touch this. It reeks of the 90s, with the fashion and the super baggy pants being a particular standout. It also features Hammer performing some of his signature dance moves, including the running man and his famous Hammer dance that sees him scuttling across the floor like a crab. Nineties rap doesn't get much more memorable than this. Number eighteen, I love you, Vanilla Ice. Forget Ice Ice Baby. I love you is where it's at. In your arms gives me a chill, just knowing that you want me by your side. Released six months after the unbelievable success of Ice Ice Baby on Valentine's Day, nineteen ninety one. I Love You is a sappy ballad that sees Ice trying his darndest to be serious and emotional. The video was actually directed by Michael Bay, who would later find fame through his bombastic action movies. And it's like a parody you would find in a movie. It's full of slow motion shots of Ice looking contemplative and morose, lots of sensual shots of dancing women, and even a cheesy green screen effect showing some rapidly moving clouds. It looks like the video was made for 10 bucks, and it makes for some fantastically cheesy viewing. Number 17, It's All Coming Back to Me Now, Celine Dion. Written by Jim Steinman, It's All Coming Back to Me Now was inspired by Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights and was originally performed by Pandora's Box before it was covered by Canadian icon Celine Dion. There were nights when the wind was so cold that my body froze. The full music video was more of a short film, 
spanning seven and a half minutes and containing many cinematic elements, including exterior shots of a gothic castle and a tragic motorcycle crash that results in a huge explosion. It's also filled with many over-the-top elements, including slow motion running down long hallways, baby, baby, if I kiss you like this. lots of sensual kissing, ghostly apparitions, and dramatic lightning strikes. It's all wonderfully campy, and you have to respect the craft. You must love it on your lost love. Number 16, Coffee and TV, Blur. Coffee and TV is a different sort of song from British rock band Blur, as it was sung by guitarist Graham Coxon rather than Damon Albarn. Do you feel like a chain its music video, while a spectacular piece of filmmaking that won several industry awards, is like a fever dream of weirdness. The concept is that Coxon has gone missing and appears on the side of a milk carton. The milk carton then grows arms and becomes sentient, embarking on an epic adventure to find the missing Coxon. It's amazing how Blur and the video's filmmakers managed to make audiences cry over a freaking milk carton. But such is the genius of this bizarre, adorable, and touching music video. Number 15, Into Your Arms, The Lemonheads. Serving as The Lemonheads' biggest hit, Into Your Arms spent a then record nine straight weeks atop the Billboard Modern Rock Tracks chart. Released in 1993, the song came to epitomize the alternative rock craze of the time. The video sees the band singing the song in the middle of the woods, and the camera literally never stops moving. It spins around the band members, it spins around people dancing in a square, and it spins around frontman Evan Dando as he sings into the camera. The video also serves as a physical representation of the early 90s alt-rock movement, complete with Dando's long hair and the drummer's red plaid shirt. What a great time capsule. Number 14, I Want You Back, in sync. Serving as the debut single of one of the biggest boy bands in history, I Want You Back was actually made into two videos. Tell me what to do now, cause the second version was made for the British and American releases, and it's far more boring and traditional than the vastly superior original. This one was released in Germany, as NSYNC had signed with a German label. It sees the group dancing in a horribly green screen space station, complete with laughably cheap mid-90s CGI and glorious 90s fashion. What's trippier, the green screen work, the subpar CGI, or seeing Justin Timberlake as a 15-year-old kid? Number 13, Thank You, Alanis Morissette. Canadian-American singer Alanis Morissette ruled the 90s, and Thank You proved both her fifth number one in Canada and her highest charting single in the UK, peaking at number five. The success was likely aided by its unconventional music video, which featured a completely nude Morissette. She walks through various crowded areas and is continuously approached and embraced by strangers. How about grieving it all one night time? Like Give It Away, the video was directed by Stéphane Sednaoui, with the concept credited to Morissette herself. Thank you, Thank you, 
She told the Miami Herald that the video was, quote, less about overt sexuality and more about the symbolism of being really raw and naked and intimate in all these environments where you'd seemingly need protection. Number 12, Barbie Girl, Aqua. Few songs and music videos represent the 90s better than Aqua's Barbie Girl. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. This was pure, unashamed bubblegum pop, and it may be one of the catchiest songs ever written. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. The video is hilariously tongue-in-cheek, complete with an opening declaration that it was filmed in Aquascope. If this was a legitimate piece of work, it could very well be the worst music video ever made. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. It looks cheap, it's filled with corny transitions and bright, gaudy colors, and the band members, particularly Renee, give numerous meme-worthy glances to the camera. But the intentional corniness is part of the charm. You can play if you say I'm always yours. It's goofy, it's silly, and above all else, it's tons of fun. In the Bobby Number 11, The Bad Touch, Bloodhound Gang. Another glorious bit of dance pop, The Bad Touch proved an enormous hit in Europe, peaking at number one in eight different countries. And the music video, while very famous, also attracted some controversy. It sees the band dressed in monkey rat suits, running around Paris kidnapping and otherwise mistreating various people. The video was deemed insensitive by various groups, and in fact, MTV was called out for airing it at all by GLAAD. An edited version was then released, but even it's still ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as the lyrics, though. Number 10, Cotton Eye Joe, Rednecks. In 1994, a Swedish Eurodance group by the name of Rednecks covered the traditional folk song Cotton Eye Joe, matching southern twang and instruments like banjos and fiddles with their brand of techno. The unique concoction proved infectious, and the novelty of both the song and accompanying music video helped Cotton Eye Joe reach number one in numerous countries around Europe. The video sees the band members performing at a raging barn rave. And it mirrors the song's unique blending of genres and styles, proving to be just as fun as a real barn dance. Number 9. Groove is in the Heart, Delight. Serving as this dance group's debut single, Groove is in the Heart is widely considered to be one of the best songs of the 90s, and it made Delight one of the world's most popular one-hit wonders. The chills that you spill up my back keep me filled with satisfaction when we're done. The accompanying music video harkens back to the psychedelia of the 1960s, depicting the band superimposed over shifting shapes and popping bright colors. Oh, oh, oh. No, Ask why. We ask why not. The unique style and theme made the video stand out among its contemporaries, and it somehow manages to generate nostalgia for both the 60s and the 90s at the same time. Number 8. Baby Got Back, Sir Mix a Lot. Along with You Can't Touch This, Baby Got Back serves as the quintessential representation of early 90s mainstream hip-hop. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. 
Both songs were huge hits, both were wondrously corny, and both came equipped with silly music videos. Ladies, yeah. do you wanna roll my Mercedes? Yeah. Then turn around, stick it out, even white boys got the shout, baby got back. This one sees Sir Mix-a-Lot standing atop a giant butt and features many gratuitous shots of dancing women and their shaking behinds. Even the turntable has a little butt on it. <laughs> While somewhat tame by today's WAP and Anaconda standards, this music video generated some controversy for its overt sexuality and was shortly banned by MTV in the early 90s. So ladies, if the butt is round and you want a triple X throw down, Dial 1900 mix a lot and kick them nasty thoughts. Today, it is rightfully seen as a classic. Number 7. Quit Playing Games with My Heart, Backstreet Boys. Serving as NSYNC's biggest rivals, the Backstreet Boys were the quintessential boy band of the 90s. Sometimes I wish I could turn back time. And this served as their most successful single in America peaking at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. I live my life the, way. the concept behind the music video is simple. The Backstreet Boys dance around in the rain and eventually take their shirts off. An idea that nearly got the video banned from MTV, who were feeling particularly prudish that day. Quit playing games with my heart. Along the way, viewers are treated to many corny fade transitions, close-ups of emotional and sexy faces, and the Backstreet Boys dragging their hands through their wet hair. It's perhaps the most overdramatic music video in history, and it tells you all you need to know about the mid-90s boy band boom. Number 6. Black Hole Sun – Soundgarden Black Hole Sun was released at the height of the grunge movement, and it is very evident. In my eyes, in this pose, in disguises, no. Aside from the sludgy production and dark lyrics, the song is accompanied by a creepy music video with tons of surreal imagery and a horrifying concept. Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Everyone has chilling and exaggerated smiles plastered on their distorting faces, people sit on all fours watching a static TV, and little girls watch Barbies burn on the barbecue. And that's all before the sky turns red and a literal black hole sun destroys everyone. It's brilliantly imaginative, but man, is it ever creepy and weird. This is mid-90s rock personified, and it serves as both a cultural icon and a fantastic piece of nostalgia. Number 5. What's Up With You? Eddie Murphy and Michael Jackson Bear with us because we swear we are not making this up. Released in 1993, What's Up With You is sung by both Eddie Murphy and Michael Jackson, and it was included on Murphy's third studio album. Oh yeah, Murphy had a brief music career spanning the mid-80s to the early 90s. Like Black Hole Sun, What's Up With You personifies the 90s, just in a very different way. For one thing, it's sung by Eddie Murphy and Michael Jackson. For another, there's that weird spelling of the title, which just screams early 90s. Finally, there's Murphy's stellar 90s fashion and cheesy green screen work. Everything about this is ridiculous. Very memorable and entertaining, yes, but ridiculous. Number 4. I'm Too Sexy, Right Said Fred A glorious bit of tongue-in-cheek, I'm 
Come Too Sexy is a dance pop masterpiece that parodies narcissism and self aggrandizement. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy. Right Said Fred is composed of brothers Fred and Richard Fairbrass. And the idea for the song reportedly came from the brothers' experience running a gym and witnessing the narcissism on display. And the music video is exactly what you'd expect. It contains ridiculous outfits, shirt ripping, lots of bare chests, popping muscles, and even a runway with bikini clad women snapping photos of the strutting and gyrating Fairbrass brothers. Yeah, on the catwalk, yeah, I shake my little tush on the catwalk. The video ends with a knowing and somewhat self-deprecating smile. A smile that says everything about the three minutes of goofiness that came before it. Number 3. Hooked on a Feeling – David Hasselhoff Beloved actor David Hasselhoff has toyed with music throughout the decades, and in 1997, he released his ninth, yes ninth, studio album, titled Hooked on a Feeling. Included on said album is the title track a cover of the B.J. Thomas and Blue Swede classic. It was accompanied by what is either the best or worst music video ever made. The video is filled with some truly hilarious green screen work, multiple shots of the Hoff flying through the air, and even Hasselhoff interacting with computer-generated cubes of the music video itself. It's probably a joke, but we honestly can't tell. Either way, it could very well be the silliest thing we've ever seen. Number 2. Blue Dabba Dee – Eiffel 65 One of the most popular Eurodance songs of the 90s, Blue Dabba Dee is a confounding yet incredibly entertaining song. Such adjectives could also be used to describe its music video. Reportedly made by five people in a garage, the music video is almost entirely computer generated and tells the story about blue aliens abducting lead singer Jeffrey J and taking him to their planet. He's forced to put on a concert for the alien residents, and the other members eventually rescue him using cheesy martial arts and fancy superpowers. It's a complete fever dream of a music video, and it's made all the more memorable owing to its cheap CGI. It's silly, but it's also a masterpiece of late 90s music. Want more Mojo? Sound Mojo brings you music from new and emerging artists in all genres from across the globe. From interviews to live shows and deep dives into music culture, Sound Mojo has you covered. Be sure to check out Sound Mojo to find your new favorite artists. Number 1. Numb, U2 It's amazing to consider that such a popular band can produce such experimental material. <laughs> Numb is a weird bit of industrial rock, complete with sound effects, a grating guitar note, and a droning vocal performance by The Edge. The music video consists of The Edge sitting in a black room and staring into the camera while a strobing light plays across his face. He's then forced to suffer feet and fingers prodding his face. Getting repeatedly slapped by a child. Don't 
and even having his face be crudely tied up with a thin rope before being pushed over by Larry Mullen Jr. The combination of grating music and violent visuals is both disturbing and off-putting. It's easily the most bizarre thing that you two ever did. Well, other than that forced album on your phone, that is. I bet you didn't guess that our number one pick was going to be U2 with ridiculous stuff like Right Said Fred and Vanilla Ice and, of course, Wet Backstreet Boys, <laughs> which is a music video that I have nostalgia for, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, be sure to let us know in the comments if there are any other music videos from the 1990s that you think are ridiculous. Or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya!